So for the new NBR, we will see how to do the uh, initial setup, how to add the camera. By default, the NBR have the IP address 1.200. And uh, on the device manager, you will see it says need password. How to download device manager. Uh, it is a part of the camera setup, uh, camera configuration. Uh, you can refer a different video for that. However, let's move forward. 1.200 that is the default IP for any NBR. Previously, uh, in the older generation NBR, you have to connect the HDMI cable directly behind the NBR to start and initialize the NBR. However, in the new model, you don't have to do that, you can directly do it from the web page. So, you go to the IP address 1.200, after that, it will take you to the first step that is set up your initial password make sure it has capital letter small letter number and symbol so i have used capital small letter number and symbol go ahead then uh, login after that it will ask you for language click next then uh, I have one hard disk okay done then uh, register the camera id okay if there are any cameras which don't have password it will use the same password which you are uh, using for the nvr and apply for any brand new camera but if your cameras already have password and username you can enter them here it will try to add it if you add it here you can add up to three passwords so it will try to search for all the cameras with this username and password and try to add it anyhow i'm just going to skip this and do it later on next i'm using network port one and i don't want to use dhcp so we will leave it as it is um, pre previously uh, all the nvrs had dhcp enabled automatically in the new ones by default it is disabled I'm going to leave it disabled. The network port, I will change it to 1.60. And you don't have to change any of them except the subnet mask and gateway as per your um, network requirement. Uh, if you're connected to internet, you can have online upgrade. If you're not, you can skip it. Okay, so I've changed my IP and setting names okay that's fine i have to now search again wait for the new ip to restart it will take some time give it some time okay delete search again your nvr is now available okay go ahead and double click login Let's uh, erase all of them. Uh, one more thing system network delete here. Go ahead and hit login. Now that should work. Change the time zone, make it GMT plus four, then click next. And uh, date and time looks fine, no need to change. Next. Okay, I will, if you have, you can use the DDNS, even you can, or P2P, you can connect quickly through uh, Voice and Mobile application, Voice and Viewer, and Web Viewer. Okay, that's fine for it cancel click on setup auto detect okay before this 
make sure before you add cameras make sure you add all the passwords that you use for cameras here so for example i have added here admin and capital a my great one so this is the password i'm using for all the cameras make sure you add all of this and then you go and add the cameras otherwise you have to log into each camera one by one if you have already added it will show directly connected otherwise it will show failed and then you have to add now watch closely select the cameras look for the arrow button and move okay there is another option you can also uh, drag and drop maybe to some other channel if you want okay done so apply and apply twice now this is done next step is you have to select um, the recording parameters so Uh, then go to profile setup currently it is recording h264 i will change it to h265 you can change all by clicking from the profile section also done later on if you want to make some changes to the uh, camera name you can edit the camera name here and uh, camera setup which is the camera uh, resolution and stuff you can change it from camera web viewer go ahead and update the profile settings or okay, live live always keep it as auto remote remote is if you're connecting your nvr to ssm the resolution that will be sent to ssm vms is this remote make sure since ssm is on the same location let's say it's the same site or a viewer wisenet viewer it's on the same site make sure you select the highest resolution however if your ssm is on a remote location you are using internet you have limited bandwidth then you can keep it low otherwise make it high live do not change this live from auto uh, the camera resolution we can set it from here um let's log into one of the cameras you can check the profile settings video profile by default a profile called live for nvr is created at the low resolution you do not have to change it because when you do live view in uh, full screen it will show in uh, full resolution and depending on the capability of the uh, of the viewer when you show multi tile it will change to 640 sometimes it will change and most of the time when you directly connect your monitor it will change and it will look for uh, it will look for this profile so do not increase this profile uh, beyond 800 by 600 or beyond 800 by 448 do not increase beyond this keep it as it is or lower is okay now h265 currently is uh, 2 megapixel 25 frames you can change it to 10 frames you can do this as a bulk setting using device manager check the video on uh, eight steps to configure your camera using voice net device manager i'm covering this that all right so now you have added the cameras they're recording live views there how to export this is the export button uh, you can check that and uh, when you insert your hard disk for the first time make sure uh, your device storage device make sure you format your hard disk for the first time very important after that it is good to go you should have number one two three four status should be normal then recording you can have it as a standard recording or scheduled recording by default it is continuous or event if you want can make it just continue or you can just make it event 
or which is motion based recording at some part of the day 8 o'clock 9 o'clock however for um, motion and other things you have to go ahead and enable it then only it will work okay and also recording schedule recording setup uh, this is one more point the event recording should be on okay then next dual recording dual recording means the nvr will record h264 profile as well as or h265 profile as well as live or nvr it will record twice it will record whichever profile you set it under the record profile as well as it will record the live or nvr it will record both this we don't want it unless and until you need for remote viewing with limited bandwidth and you have a playback issue it cannot play back 4k you have to play back low resolution over the internet then you can do dual recording but otherwise 99 percent of the project they don't use it as it will take more storage so i'm going to disable dual recording by default it is sent to maximum if you want you can customize it always keep overwrite as on lastly make sure your nvr is updated in firmware you can go to settings uh, and uh, product information yeah make sure you go ahead and update your nvr currently it is running 2208 somewhat latest so it's okay make sure you update and check and update the firmware and you can do the date and uh, time setting here make sure time zone is always correctly set okay. and your network port if you are using any vms try to use two network ports you can have in the same ip range that's okay but the first network port is the universal port for all kind of live view recording playback everything can happen through the first port the second port is outgoing mostly outgoing can have it on two networks or same network as well all right so that's all about this uh, short video just to show you how to add the camera and start the recording on the new generation nvrs prn 3210 xrn 3210 1610 um, b2 or uh, b1 so all these new models b4 you can use this video as your reference